Hey everyone, welcome back to the Syntax by Ryan here. And in this video, I wanted to discuss some strategies for dealing with duplicate rows uh, when you're doing data cleaning in Pandas. So recently I was working on a project and uh, I'm working with uh, tweets. And sometimes on Twitter, uh, conversations when people wanna get around the 140 character limit, they just do a second reply. And we can see that that's happened here in the data. So um, we have, you know, these columns are all the same. Um, and then the only difference is the text response on the second on the second row here. And I wanted to just combine these. These are almost duplicate rows. They're they're near duplicates. And I wanted to just combine these into a single row so we can capture that whole conversation uh, in one row. And uh, so I didn't see any videos on how to do that. So I'm here to talk about uh, some strategies to do that today. We'll show you not only how to do that, but also uh, some other aggregations you can do with duplicate rows and how to remove uh, true duplicates, which would be all the columns. Or if you wanted to remove this, it's very easy to do that as well. Um, but in this case, of course, I don't wanna remove the data. Okay, so I've got a simple sample data set uh, for us here to work with, uh, generated it with ChatGPT. Um, and so I've, I've gone ahead and imported the citizens.csv and taken a look at the data. So we can see that um, there's a number of, there's a few duplicates where the name and age is the same, and then the country is different. So we can see that here with uh, Emily Wilson. And then of course we have some true duplicates. So we have John Smith, 25 USA, John Smith, 25 USA. Um, so we can imagine, for instance, perhaps people appear in the data multiple times if they have multiple citizenships. So um, John, John Smith here is the same, same person. We'll say that these are all the same person. Um, and you know their their citizenship was confirmed to be USA here and USA here, uh, but Emily maybe entered a country once on her Australian passport and once on a New Zealand passport. And so we want to capture that Emily Wilson is 28 and has uh, multiple passports. Um, of course, I'm just making this up, but it's fun to build a little story around our data that we're going to be working with here. So the first thing I want to do is actually drop the first the the true duplicates, um, the the John Smith. 25 USA's of the world. That's that's a true duplicate, um, so we don't we don't need to have that around. So I'm going to go ahead and say df1 dot drop duplicates, and I believe we have to. Uh, it's going to return the data frame back to us. So we have to go ahead and do df1 drop duplicates, and then we can do df1. Okay, so we can see that the majority of them were actually uh, duplicates. Uh, we still have the situation going with Emily Wilson here, however, um, where she is, uh, you know, 28 and entered once on an Australian passport and once on a New Zealand passport. So we want to go ahead and make sure that Emily Wilson is captured in a single row and just concatenate uh, these countries. So we can do, you know, Australia, comma, New Zealand, for instance. So how do we go ahead and do that? So what we can do is we can go ahead and actually um, take our take our our data frame here, DF1. And we'll do a group by, and we'll do, uh, we're gonna group it by name, okay? And then age as well. And then, so we're gonna leave uh, in there the columns that we want to, that we wanna sort of filter on for, for being the same. And then we can do dot aggregate, and then we can uh, specify that for country, we wanna aggregate, and I'm going to use uh, a comma, dot join here and note I'm not going to use the parentheses to actually call this I'm going to take that take that join um, and then get the get the join function that would be called there if I if I actually use the parentheses okay and then I'm going to close our, our little dictionary here and do that and so we'll see what that yields us so you can see here that we have Emily Wilson Australia New Zealand okay um, and but you'll see that these are that the, these are now in bold. So by using group by, we actually end up with this as the index. If you want to just remove that, you can just do a reset index, okay? And there we go. So now we have uh, basically a similar similar looking set of rows here, but we have Emily Wilson with Australia, comma New Zealand. So that's been combined into a single row. You'll also notice that we did actually lose our index doing this. So that is something to be aware of if you wanted to somehow preserve that index. Uh, you should make a point to do that uh, before um, doing this operation because now everything is level zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which in my case is probably actually what I want, 
I wasn't I didn't necessarily want this uh, index from before, uh, but you know, just just uh, something to note there uh, as you're going through. Okay, so that's a fairly uh, simple example, um, but you know, that being said. How do we go, you know, what, what, what might be a more complex example? So I have this other file here, which is citizens improved. Um, and this is where we have, you know, names and sometimes the age or the country can be different. Um, and we want to go ahead and actually aggregate the ages. So we want to take the average age of, you know, when they entered the country, for instance, and then maybe um, also their passport, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and just create a second data frame. So I'm going to do df2 uh, equals pd.readcsv and citizens improved. CSV. And we'll do df2.head. Let's do 15 and see what we got. Okay, so we still see that Emily Wilson's there, 28, Australia. John Smith is there. Uh, we can see Michael Brown. It's a true duplicate. I'm not sure if I see any with the different age right now, but I know that there are some in this file. So uh, let's go ahead and remove the true duplicates and see what we're kind of left over with. So let's do df2 uh, equals df2 dot uh, remove dot drop duplicate, sorry. And now one thing to note about this function is you can tell it with what uh, columns to, to use. So if you wanted to just drop any that had the same name and country, for instance, um, and you wanted to say, well, those, those are the same person, they were just a different age or something like that, um, you can definitely go ahead and just pass those columns in to drop duplicates. I'm not doing that here, but um, you, can definitely, you can definitely do that uh, if you want to. And so we're gonna take a look now at what we have um, without the drop duplicates. Oh, I was confused as to why we're only getting a, a result of 15 here. Um, it's because I called head. So yeah, the, the, the data frame is now small enough that we can actually look at the whole data frame at once. Um, and so we can see here we have Emily Wilson, 40 New Zealand, Emily Wilson, uh, 28 New Zealand, and Emily Wilson was 28 uh, from Australia as well. Um, and you know, we have, so we have some that are the same in the age, some that are same, um, in, in the country and then we have you know some that are just just the same name so here we want to go ahead and just assume that you know we want to combine all the ones um, with the same name into a, a single row of information uh, about the person okay and so how are we gonna do that now so we can do it the same way that we did it before so we're gonna do df2 group by this time we're only gonna group by the name and then we're going to do aggregate and you want to make sure you provide an aggregate for every uh, column that you didn't group by. Okay, so uh, for age, for instance, we want to just take the the mean age and you can pass that in as, as a string. Um, there's a number of strings here that are that are valid. You can use basically any NumPy function. Um, what I would suggest is if you have a particular function, you can just, you know, Google it. Um, I wish there was a complete list, but this is actually a very versatile way to pass in the function, I guess. Pandas can use uh, NumPy functions, it can use pa pa Python built-in functions. Um, so all, all the things you would expect, you know, if you want sum, mean, median, um, if you want to do a standard deviation, that sort of thing, all the, all the common ones are going to be there for you. If you have something um, less common, you, you could search it up. And of course, you can pass a, a custom function as well. Uh, for the country here, we're gonna go ahead and do a, uh, again, a join. Okay, and then we can go ahead and reset index. I meant I showed you what happens last time. Um, so we have that. Now, you'll notice something uh, interesting here. So we actually have multiple rows um, for Emily Wilson, two from Australia and two from New Zealand. Um, and you'll also notice that we had John Smith at different ages, and then because we aggregated, we have, um, you know, USA multiple times. So how do we fix this? So we could just fix this by doing a custom function, and so I'll show you how to use that right now. So we can do define, join unique, and we're gonna say items, and then we'll say return, and we'll do that join dot join and we're going to convert the items to a set and set in python 
uh, can only have uh, unique items. You can't have an item multiple times when you have a set. So by converting um, this list into a set, uh, we, we will just automatically end up uh, removing the, du uh, the duplicates as part of that process. And then we can replace the function here with join unique. You could of course use a lambda for this as well. I just decided to actually define the function up here. Um, and then we could use it later in the program as well if we wanted. And so by doing that, you can see we have Emily Wilson as Australia in New Zealand, and we've cleaned up all of those, all of those other duplicates. So that's everything I wanted to show today in terms of merging duplicate rows um, and uh, you know dropping the true duplicates. I hope you found that video helpful. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like on the video. Actually, you know, please do leave a like on the video. If it gave you any trouble or you just wanted to add some comments, you can put your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, content like this, and I will see you in the next video.